Uh, I'm sick of playing credit card teams. I can't get any coins or sick cards because I don't want to spend any money. If this is the whiny shit that you're doing, then you're in luck. Because I'm No Sleeves 12, and this is how to suck less at Aki Ultimate Team. <laughs> Alright guys, so I am No Sleeves 12. If you've seen my other videos or been watching for a little while over the last six weeks, uh, then you know that I have been releasing videos uh, in regards to the strategies and, and things I do in each zone and all aspects of NHL. If they've helped, perfect. If they haven't, well, fuck you too then. No, I'm just kidding. But seriously, so what this is going to be is it's going to be a series that shows you guys how to go from Div 10 to Div 1 using the strategies that I show in my other videos kind of put it all together, um, with spending zero dollars in HUT. Now, we all have seen the credit card teams that absolutely dominate you, and that's what you guys blame it on when you lose. Really has nothing to do with it, guys. The the guys with the amazing teams that put together great teams um, are probably just very good at the game, as well as having a, a good roster. Um, but you don't need that. It is all based on skill, um, and I want to show you guys that. If you put it all together, um, then it, it will go very well for you. So couple things about this series. I'm going to show you how to work the market. Um, very basic things, not ones that are going to spend hours on or the crazy in-depth stuff. There's other YouTubers and content creators out there that do it better than me, so I'm not going to pretend that I'm a master. I'm going to show you guys how to get some extra coins um, a very easy way. Second, I'm going to show you guys how to do my strategies, not just in versus, but in hut, and uh, what you should be looking for uh, when creating your team and what to avoid. Uh, third, I'm going to show you guys um, each division's games. So I'm going to break down why I lost a game, why I won a game, um, and show you kind of all the goals and, and big moments in each of those games, uh, just to show you guys, again, um, to show you guys some extra strategies and whatnot, some in-depth looks. Um, so... With that being said, uh, let's get to it. Um, one last thing I do want to mention, I'm buying packs um, really to create my team. I'm not going to recommend doing that. Uh, again, I'm going to get into that a little bit later, but that's really going to be the makeup of my team is the Div, ten the div title packs, um, buying packs from the store uh, with coins, not money, and uh, creating my team like that. So without any further ado, let's get to Div 10 and, uh, and creating my team and strategies and whatnot. Alright guys, so once you've created your name and picked your team jerseys and logos and whatnot, it's time to get started. Again, so I'm a Giant Sharks fan. Not really difficult choice here. Um, I am kind of shit, so uh, Spare Parts is going to be uh, my name for this. So let's uh, set this up and open up the starter pack. So let's see what I get on this all-star roster. Um, Alright, Calvin Picard, pretty much going to be my starting goalie. Uh, contracts and healing, um, you're going to want these, um, especially for, um, well, obviously contracts for your team, but um, I'm going to show you guys how to make money with contracts and whatnot. So uh, basically 83s, uh, Keith Kincaid, Season 2's garbage, uh, Don Skoy, uh, my boy, kind of crap though. Uh, essentially, I really uh, Josh George isn't bad to start with. Chris Tierney, um, decent. Uh, Palmieri is probably going to be my main source of offense for the first few games. Cody Franzen, again, probably going to be my first liner. Uh, and JT Brown, Bolesky in 84, probably going to be up there as well in my top six. What else we got here? All right, so pretty much, again, so your first pack is going to be hot garbage, guys. That's all normal. You guys all know that. So uh, as I go through it here, um, just, you know, you want to take a look at what you got. Um, whatever team that you pick, you're probably going to get two or three decent players from that team. And by decent, I mean trash. But nonetheless, they're probably not going to be on your team for that long. Again, it is not how good your team is. It is how you play and how you use them. So uh, this is serviceable. So hit build now and uh, we'll go to the, there you go. There's your top, there's your top, uh, your all-star lineup right there. Which is uh, which is a little disheartening coming from Div One and my team that I had built. So starting fresh, um, the hot daily rewards those are key. Free coins. What else is new, right? So let's go over the team building and give me one second here. I want to take a look. So essentially, guys, you know how I like to set it up. If you've seen my strategies and lines combos, you need to go through your lines. Essentially, what you need to do, uh, make sure first you have the correct players on the right line. Uh, Palmieri, for whatever reason, they put it on my fourth line. He's not going to be there. So spend quite a bit of time um, putting everyone in the right spot. Um, 
you need to make sure that, uh, you know, you want to have your best players up top. That's, again, common sense. But what you need to do is put, make sure that they are opposite-handed on each wing, guys. You guys know that I preach this. So if you're on your right wing, they need to be left-handed. If they are right-handed on the right wing, you are not going to be able to execute the strategy that I use and show you guys um, in my other videos uh, to its fullest. Uh, again, not being opposite-handed on the wings is almost a hindrance in this game. Um, with that opposite-handed winger, you're going to be able um, to pull off the the um, better angled goals in this game. Now, what I do need to mention, forget about the number and the rating overall. Okay, Just completely forget about it in a hut, especially at this moment in the game. What you do need to focus on is the speed and shot stat. That is it. Do not worry about anything else at this stage. Don't worry about checking. Don't check at all, really. Uh, deking, again, you're not pulling off the master deeks. Uh, you shouldn't be, at least. And, and defense, again, you're going to be controlling most of your most of your uh, defense and, and things set up. So don't worry about that. Speed and shot, and it needs to be in that order. Whoever is faster, put up higher in the lineup. That goes for defense and offense. Again, you don't want to give up odd man rushes because you have a guy with an 85 shot and 90 defense, but a fucking 81 speed and just get blown by you for a goal. So again, guys, so opposite handed on the wings and speed and shot over anything else. Speed is the first stat. Okay. In that order. Again, as you see, as I'm creating my lineup here, I'm sacrificing some, um, you know, players that are better overall for speed and uh, it's especially important on defense again because you do not want to get burned because you've got fucking Stefan Robidov with like a under 80 speed um on your first line so again um it's just something to take it uh, again to take notice of um you really need to be aware when you're creating your lineup that that is what you want um again so speed first then shots then we're and make sure that you're as much as you can because your original team might not let you do it. But if you've got to put an extra center at right wing because you only have right wings that shoot right, you need to make sure they shoot left. So again, guys, right wing shoot left, left wing shoot right. All right. All right, guys, next, as you're going to set up your lines for your penalty kill and power play, keep this in mind. What I do at this stage of the game is I make sure that my top two lines are my power play and my bottom two lines are my penalty kill. The reason for that is you don't want to get stuck using while you're on the power play and then you take a penalty and your fucking number one center is now stuck on the penalty kill with zero energy. Just have your bottom two guys. And the reason why it's okay at this stage of the game is because you don't have enough good players. They're all within about the same bracket of, of skill and whatnot. So make sure that um, you just have your, your bottom two lines consist your penalty kill and your top two as your, as your power play. Same goes for defense. At least make the first penalty kill the two guys that are not on your power plays. Um, that way, again, you're not stuck where your entire fucking penalty kill is just completely gassed. Okay, guys, you've seen my long combos and strats videos, but let's uh, I'll go over it again. So for my strategies, you want to set your forecheck to 2-3, your neutral zone to 1-2-2 blue, the trap forecheck all the way to the right to forecheck, offensive pressure to conservative, um, defensive pressure, puck side attack, defensive strategy is staggered. Penalty kill, large box that attacks it. Again, that you're, you're, I'm going to show you. There's a power play video um, where I go in depth with it. You can watch that. Um, power play overload, always the overload. So take a look. These are the strats that I want you guys to set it up with um, for, for your team for your first game. All right, guys. So now next, on to the forward line setups. Always set to the overload. Uh, again, there's a big video on that. Always the overload. Uh, efficiency for as far as energy or conserving energy, I set it to about half. Again, um, it's just something I've come to I've come to use, and I've now dicked around with putting um, shot blocking um, all the way to ten, uh, just because point shots are way too ridiculous and they always get through. So this just kind of helps me minimize it, where your AI is going to lie out to block the shot. For your defensive pairings, I've now switched to have it hold the line on all my pairings just to make sure that I'm not getting extremely caught out of position. So guys, uh, these are my strats that you want to use for this, uh, this setup. All right, guys, so that is how I'm going to set up my team as far as strats, line combos, all that um, to start this series. Um, so on the next video, you guys are going to see uh, my Div 10 games and how they went. 
And uh, I'm going to go over all the clips and goals and whatnot, uh, as well as my first little tip of Hockey Ultimate Team and basically showing you guys a little section on how to work the market as a rookie. And uh, we're going to go from there. So tune in to the next video and uh, we'll see how it goes. So guys, uh, I would do want to mention this. I know that I am a Div 1 player and I am going to beat up on a lot of people on the way. And that's kind of foolish to expect me to think that um, it's easy to go all the way. Uh, there is skill gaps in players and I know that. I'm trying to show you guys be completely transparent with the way I play um, to show you guys that there's an easier way to play and the tips that I do do work. Um, so uh, this that's more what this series is about. And uh, secondly, I do want to mention thank you for all the subs and everything like that. If you do like my content, please subscribe. It does help out quite a bit. Uh, as well as for giveaways and things, I am giving away my entire Div 1 team um, to everyone on Twitch, on Twitter. So be sure to check me out on Twitter uh, and Twitch uh, to follow up for those things. Uh, links are in the bottom as well as the links to other my other videos that you might want to watch um, as far as strategies and line combos and the overload. So, all right, guys, uh, I'm No Sleeves 12. Uh, thanks for watching and stay average. Your mama's home, we can bring it